name is Braden, uh, born and raised here in the state of Utah. Um, I'm a firefighter and what I do on my days off is I fly fish. I've been fly fishing for six, seven years now, ever since I was in high school. Um, grew up fly fishing on you know, just whatever rod I can find, whatever rod I can get my hand on. Fly fishing any river we could find, any body of water, and it's kind of my passion. It's what gets me through, gets me through the stressful times of being a firefighter. What's good about fly fishing in Utah is there's so many diverse kind of streams you can get into. You got kind of a more desert landscape, but you have these awesome rivers, trout streams as well. Um, you got your high alpine mountains that hold awesome brook trout and whatnot. It's really diverse with what you want to catch and how you want to do it. You can do it all here in Utah. So with all the diverse streams, rivers, lakes and stuff, um, it's kind of hard to find an all-around good fly rod that can do all of it in the price range that I can afford. You know, being a firefighter, we don't make crazy amounts of money. So it's nice to have a fly rod like the Diamondback View rod that I can toss those big streamers, I can land those little small size 24 midges really delicately. Um, it's kind of a do-it-all rod for me, I've noticed. I can cast these big old nymphs and indi indi under indicators with no problem. Um, and for me, it's, you know, here, I haven't had any issue with catching too big of a fish and having that fish be too big for the rod. It's been able to handle every fish I've ever caught. So it's kind of been a great go-to rod here, especially in the state of Utah for, for catching fish. This is a Diamondback View fly rod. I have the nine foot five weight. It also comes in weights three to nine, ranging from seven foot six, I believe, to nine foot. Um, it's made of mid-modulus graphite, which gives it an awesome blend of strength, sensitivity, kind of a do-it-all sort of feel to it. It's a mid-medium fast action fly rod, which is awesome for kind of a do-it-all sort of thing, which I prefer quite a bit. You can still get those awesome tight loops, but it's also able to land your dry flies really delicately on the water and cast really well in the wind. And it comes in at about $216, which is awesome because not a lot of us have those deep pockets where we can afford those seven, dollars $800 do-it-all rods. But this one I found competes with those fly rods in terms of casting, strength, durability, it kind of checks all the boxes. It comes in a olive green color, which I'm a fan of. I think it's kind of different. You get, you know, your classic black and gray fly rods and whatnot. So I think this is kind of cool with the, with the green, I'm a fan. So I heard about Diamondback Fly Rod because my dad actually used to have a Diamondback Fly Rod. He's an avid fly fisherman as well, firefighter as well and he was stoked when he had it. It was his favorite rod he's ever had. He was super pumped. He'd always talk about, oh, I've got a Diamondback fly rod, I've got a Diamondback. And uh, kind of the, the thing that happened to it is we went hiking um, up to this lake called Big Elk Lake and we were fly fishing and this hailstorm came over us. And so we pitched a tarp between these two big boulders and we were, we were under that for a few hours and our tarp started to blow away. So my dad put a rock over the tarp to keep it, to keep it set and he actually put the rock on the tip of his fly rod and busted it. And so my dad was just so sad because that was his diamondback fly rod, you know, he had a nice diamondback and he busted it, you know, something he could have definitely avoided. And so it always stuck out to me, my dad would always talk about, oh, I had this diamondback fly rod, this diamondback. And so that name, you know, diamondback fly rod is always in the back of my mind. And so I decided to look at him a little bit, coming from, you know, my dad's approval of the fly rod. And that's where I found out and decided I was going to take my chances with it and I've, I've, I've loved it. The reason I fly fish is because it's kind of an escape from the stress in my life, kind of how it is for all of us. I, I work a really stressful job that's kind of hard on my body, so it's nice to come out and be able to enjoy the river, enjoy nature, and kind of have that one-on-one -on -one moment, hours, you know, with the river, and um, it just kind of helps me overcome the stress in my life, and, you know, it's kind of my vice, it's my drug, it's what I do. I fly fish when I'm not at work or with my wife and kid, you know, try and plan two three days a week where I can come out and spend, you know, half a day on the river fly fishing. <laughs>